What up? It's your boy NWP, and today we're going to be talking about AIM abuse and what it is, how can you do it, what's the reasoning behind it. But before we get started with that, take the time right now, if you have not subscribed to the channel, to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. I'll try and answer as many questions or uh, you know comments as I possibly can. But today's topic is aim abuse, and what in the world is aim abuse? So aim abuse is the name or term given to uh, exploiting aim assist in the game um, in a way that it really isn't intended to be used, but some games feature it and some don't, and it is f it is freaking prominent in Fortnite, okay? It is prominent as it gets okay now if you noticed a little micro in and outs that i'm doing as i'm uh adsing like in that last gunfight you realize that is what aim abuse is now the easiest way i can explain it for people that have played the game if you've played uh modern warfare the original call of duty modern warfare um in the kill house at the beginning of the game the very like first mission i want to say it is it might be the second mission but it's the tutorial mission more or less where you have to do the speed run and in that thing in that moment when you're at the firing range area they tell you to use your left trigger and let go of it and then pull it again to keep you know quick targeting uh as the you know targets pop up <clears throat> that can be exploited in multiplayer as well in some games to a much higher degree than others but the fact is is that when you ads you're actually getting a more refined um aim and it's allowing you it's it basically changes that aim assist pattern a little bit even if it's just slightly it does actually give you a quite high advantage so as you see here i'm just i'm standing and just shooting you know like spraying and as it does it in and out my accuracy is way higher and my building is terrible, but that's that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about NWP's awful building skills because I'm not the best builder in the world. I don't even like building at all. Like, it just bothers me. But back to what we're talking about, aim abuse. Now, aim abuse can be used in pretty much any situation. It can be used uh, long range, short range. Uh, typically, short range can be a, you know, a little bit more tricky to figure out, but... The biggest drawback, and is really not a drawback in Fortnite, but in games with uh, you know team-based games where you're talking about like team deathmatch, um, domination, capture the flag, you know the the stereotypical uh, FPS um, game modes, then you're gonna have multiple people running by you, and this could actually cause you to be really really super sloppy with your aim, and you know miss targets or select different targets over and over again and never really kill one now people i gotta tell you never just randomly push like i don't i don't understand there's being aggressive and then there's randomly pushing this guy was on the ground why would you be on the ground that doesn't even make sense and he gave me a chug jug so that's awesome but again, there's a really good example of aim abuse. As you see, I'm hitting him all in the upper body and neck, and my aim keeps, you know, readjusting to try and lock on him or, you know, give me an ease in a sense of locking on the target. So, aim abuse can be used really, really well, and you guys really just gotta see for yourselves in a sense. But the the potential for abuse in any game that has uh, aim assist is high. And uh, I would venture to say that, honestly, aim abuse on PC might be even worse when you plug in a controller. I might make a video about it. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, my capture card is uh, pretty much crapped the bed, so that's why the quality of the video is not as good as it should be uh, because I'm using a USB flash drive to pull them straight from the PlayStation. Uh, yeah. Ugh, not good. <laughs> but uh, so I'm going to try and do some more stuff, you know, get some, you know, things going here. But really the the, the secret here is, is that more or less um, on PC, what the way what I'm thinking is, is because I always felt to me that the aim assist was just a tad higher than console and I just feel like that's because there's no real understanding of what you're supposed to do 
for, uh, you know, like aim assist on PC because no one really needs it often. And it's very rare for a controller user to play PC until these last few months or year, basically, where Fortnite and a few other games have, you know, stepped up the game. It started with Titanfall like two or two and a half, three years ago. And it's gradually increased with this cross play between Xbox and, um, you know, a PC because of Windows, uh, game, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what it's called anymore, but the Windows 10 game bar thing there with Xbox and, like, where you can actually play your Xbox games that are cross-compatible on PC regardless, etc. It's it's a little convoluted, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. But since they've done that, they've kind of um, tried to normalize controller use on PC as well for the people that just want to do that. And that, that's pretty cool, but... Nonetheless, you know, aim abuse, whether you like it or not, I've shown you what it is. You can take a look for the rest of the video, and I continuously show you how to do it. And, yes, there are controllers that will do it more uh, smoothly than others. Uh, you know, using doing it manually is much harder than it looks and uh, not the greatest thing you can possibly do. But at the same time, it is possible but mod controllers do 100% exist for this, as well as mod devices like the FPS Strike Pack. If you cannot afford a scuff or something along the lines like of that, you know, check those out at GameStop. But I'm going to leave you with some dubstep or something similar and the rest of the video from No Copyright Sounds. So enjoy that and have a good one. Oh, <laughs> 